Hi everybody, it's Tim Jensen. Hi, it's Tim Jensen again. Hi everybody, it's Tim Jensen. I'm back with my good friend Tom from Gripmat. I've got my good friend Jason Johnson here. I am at the United States Playing Card Company with my good friend JJ from... Where am I from? Team Red, White, and Blue. Yes, here we are. How's your experience been at the United States Playing Card Company today? Well, it's been great. You know, being on the card is such an honor for us, being a veteran. It's just such an honor to be here and be included as part of this group of frontline leaders. Uh, today's been fantastic. Been able to connect with a lot of veterans and also, you know, trade tips and tricks of like business and also just, you know, gain a lot of new friends. So it's been fantastic. It's been cool for a whole host of reasons. One, it's been really cool to kind of get a chance to, I missed the Nashville mm -hmm. event, the kickoff event. Uh, so it's been a chance, really cool to get a chance to kind of meet everyone, get a chance to spend some time with the Grunt Style folks. And then I'm a bit of a nerd for how things are made. So going through the factory and like seeing what actually goes into making that card has been really cool at the same time. You know, for those of anybody out there that may not know what Grip Mad is, what is it? Right. So tell everybody a little bit about Team Red, White, and Blue. Why don't you tell everybody out there why, why is this important to you? Why is uh, uh, your foundation, uh, why does it exist? Well, it's important to me because I spent, you know, 24 years between the military, police, and federal service. And after all that time, I realized that no one's here to take care of dogs like Axel. That when a dog like this retires from federal service or the military service, that there's no VA program for him. And after my career, I decided that, you know, I was gonna be a change for that. That I was gonna start Project Canine Hero and start taking in money so dogs like Axel here don't go without in their, in their age of retirement. We are really focused on helping veterans have a healthy transition so that they don't get to a lot of the negative outcomes that you hear about in the veteran space. And what we do is, it's, it's simple, it's not easy, but it's simple. We, we try to use physical fitness and social activity, create connections to the community, try to give veterans a sense of purpose and to keep them engaged. And I think the conversation, we always have this conversation about like helping veterans and kind of like bringing them back up to the, like, to the mean or to the average with everyone else. And like, I think that's the complete wrong conversation. We should be having conversations about, hey, you're in the military, you have skills that the rest of, you know, your counterparts in the civilian community don't have. You have a moral obligation to go lead, continue to lead after you get out of the military. Mm -hmm. It's a flexible tool tray. It gives you safe places to set your tools when you're working. A lot of mechanics, when they're working on a curved surface or sometimes a place that doesn't really have a good plate, a good surface to set their tools, this is providing that. So if it's underneath the hood of a car or on a wing of an aircraft, you know, a lot of times you don't want to set tools on the wing of aircraft because you're going to scratch it. Sure. Or underneath the hood of a car, you know, you don't want to leave your tools underneath the hood. If you scratch a wing on an aircraft, does it make it less aerodynamic? Actually, yes. Really? So um, just to buy the paint to fix a scratch on a plane is $300. And then uh, like a leading edge on a wing, the part that's like cutting through the air, that could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely a very simple solution, solving a massive problem. Now, how long have you guys been around? Uh, and you know, tell me some of the challenges that you as a business have uh, encountered and what are some of the challenges that you're facing ahead of you? Well, I started in 2016 uh, where I took, uh, you know, I was still in the government still government employee, I took $500 in my own pocket and I thought, I'm gonna start this nonprofit, see how it does. Well, the first year we raised a little bit of money, like $50,000. So in 2017, I just quit my job with the government where I was you know, a high level canine instructor and coordinator and really took after this full time. And now we got dogs in over 25 states. We've helped over 50 heroes like Axel and we're spreading awareness for them. Uh, we're being a voice for these heroes, uh, it's retired police dogs and military working dogs who, who a lot of times risk their lives for our country and put it all on the line, just like we did as soldiers, but no one's there to help them. So we wanna make sure that no retired hero goes without, and we do that through spreading awareness and raising donations and paying their medical bills. How honored were you to be part of this, uh, this new deck? And then hearing from Dr. Mum, yeah. You know, how, how, this, how this, these two are tightly connected? Yeah, so my experience is I enlisted when, like 2009, so I was still pretty young when I was seeing the deck of cards, and I believe that they were definitely a huge influence of me wanting to be a part of the military. So it was pretty, like, surreal to see this is the guy who made the cards, and this is why he made the cards, and, you know, now we're getting to the point where my companies be able to, like, be a part of the next generation of cards. Um, this is pretty fantastic, yeah. it's awesome. So here we are again at the United States Playing Card Company debuting its frontline leaders 52 card deck of veteran business leaders. 
And uh, my good friend here is the Ace of Hearts with Team Red, White, and Blue. Uh, and this has been Tom with Grip Mat, the Three of Spades. It's another great veteran story and another member of the 52. So uh, pick a card, any card, and uh, well, and we'll see uh, if I can draw which one you are. Put it back into the deck, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not much of a card trick person, but let's see. Are you the Nine of Spades? We are the Nine of Spades. Jason, it's been a, a great pleasure yes. and hanging out with you today. And the Nine of Spades, one of the 52 frontline leaders on Bicycles Frontline Leader card. <laughs>